hello everyone welcome back again to my channel and this is a same series of uh, clean architecture with cqrs and mediator pattern okay so this is uh, you know the session where we actually learn how we can implement a domain layer okay so i already actually explain what is the domain layer but yeah if you if you first time you came visit in my channel so definitely i'll recommend to you go to my channel and uh, see there's a my channel and here is actually i created actually uh, two session first is the overview and another one is a uh, let me zoom it okay so yeah first one is a overview and second one is like uh, clean architecture you know how we can set up a project structure so first you know start with this so that you can understand and you know better understand so that how can proceed the domain layer you know implementation okay and also it is this is an advanced series actually of clean architecture of uh, project uh, you know clean architecture with this sqls pattern and mediator are. but uh, i also recommend before this advanced series actually i, I have created you know one more uh, one more series of clean architecture this is this is a basic so see this is that one so this is a basic one so first i recommend to you watch this one and then proceed on that okay so yeah let's get started so this is the same example whatever we have in last session okay we have actually created as project setup we have a user interface layer we have an application layer and we have a domain layer and we have also an infrastructure layer okay so in this session we will implement how we can implement over here okay so just give a little bit idea okay because i if you first time came over here so what is domain layer actually so domain layer actually represent the core business domain models and rules okay so so let's get started to implement how we can do that so already you you able to see i already create an entity folder and also in a repository folder okay so let's get started so first we have to create you know uh, one entity over here so as of now i already shown in a demo in my first series first session like we actually creating a we are creating an endpoint you know blog endpoint where i can you know create update delete you know i can do a current operation on the on the block so first i need to create a entity blocks okay so how we can key how we can do that right click on the entity add add a class and just create a blocks okay let me create a blocks okay and just make it public so that i can access in the another layer okay and just create a some property over here okay already it is uh, see me you know example like it should be have a id name and then descriptions and then also created data etc etc whatever we want but it's a for the for a demo perspective i just created i think just uh, you know not this one but yeah, i just change it to author okay so let me change it to there and change it to author okay okay that's it let me format it control kd okay okay so see entity has created which actually represent our whatever entities in our domain layer okay and then we have to create a one repository okay so that whatever repository will i'll call to you know application layer and then application layer interact uh, with the you know api layer and so that they don't about know that what is the you know implementation and implementation would be in the infrastructure layer. so don't worry about that we'll do uh, session by session and step by step so every layers so in this session we'll cover only the domain layer and next session we'll cover in application layer and then next session we'll cover in the infrastructure layer okay so uh, let me create a repository so what what performance what uh, now operation need to do so let me create a repository for that 
let me create a interface for that so that it's abstract and uh, let me name it you know i blog i blog repository i blog repository okay that's it and make also it's a public and whatever operation we have to perform about the blogs so we have to uh, create that thing so let me create a task so that it is could be a async method you know asynchronize so let me create a list so that i can return a list of the blogs over here so let me bring the entity over here let me bring the namespace block so see which whatever we created so let me bring the namespace and let me get all get all blocks okay and async async okay that's it like that we have to implement like you know get all blocks get get block by id you know create block update block delete block so such kind of things we have to implement okay uh, instead of wasting time just you know just a copy and paste okay see i create you know similar like first uh, list of blocks okay and then list only just single blocks by the id of the block id and then create block and update block and delete block okay so that is done for the implementation perspective for the domain layer okay so i think yeah that is done also if you don't know how we can create a setup so definitely make comment to watch my first video uh, my, my previous session and see all, already we have adding a mediator packages so that we can you know coordinate in our uh, user interface to you know our application layer okay so that's it for now uh, keep watching and don't forget to subscribe have a nice day